folks, this is very important. So here we are on the what what's going to be basically the first of the Summer Wells case videos. I've been deliberately waiting, you know, to really dig into this because I wanted to be positive and sure of certain things before I would delve into uh, a case that is definitely as serious as this. This involves missing children. One of those is Summer Wells, for sure. Um, so, people are going to ask, well, why are we, you know, in Kingsport, Tennessee? Because, folks, I feel that Mr. Don Wells has never really been totally truthful about his affiliations and membership in certain things. And honestly, I had to really look into that. I'm rarely ever wrong when I get, you know, inside of So folks, this is, you know, extremely disturbing and alarming to me for a few reasons. The biggest reason why this is extremely alarming to see is I don't know about um, any of you, but this this is the absolute last place I'd want to see. You know, uh, kids of my kids I was teaching or whatever going to school is right out here in Kingsport, Tennessee, at least two miles away from the the uh, home, the Wells home in Kingsport, Tennessee, directly next to Solomon's Temple, literally. And so one of those things is the uh, implications of this place called Solomon's Temple. And the, and the interesting stories that Don Wells has told so far and I've had to really start to look into that and uh, just start to dabble in that because it's, it's a deep case. But I've started to understand that Mr. Wells is not being truthful with his affiliations. And one of those things is his membership or likely visitation to Solomon's Temple. So you're going to ask, why are we in Kingsport, Tennessee? Because we're more than a mile or so away, <clears throat> literally from where Summer Wells disappeared as this is where this church is located and this is exactly where Solomon's Temple is located. It may not have ever been brought up before and that's okay. We see an unmarked car and this is a strange car admittedly and we're back in the year 2012 because that's how it needed to be for this situation. So this is going to be the first of the um, official Summer Wells videos because I want to look at this with a fresh lens and I want to look at this you know deeply I don't want to uh, rush on any aspect of uh, what's going on here so Solomon's Temple and Missionary Baptist Church you can see by the description is located at 7000 Lone Star Road so it's at least a mile to two miles away from where Summer Wells disappeared but it's located in Kingsport, Tennessee, not Rogersville. We are now inside Kingsville, Tennessee. Because there's something that just is unsettling, uh, folks, about <clears throat> a number of these cars, particularly like this car, okay? And the fact that they always drive in and out of Solomon's Temple. Literally. Solomon's Temple, that's correct. Now, I'm not sure why police didn't ever go down here and look at these churches. Maybe they just thought, oh, it's just, you know, some random rumor mongers or cultists, fear mongering and, and, and stuff like that. We've never uh, dealt with anything like that out here. But again, when you look into it, Don Wells, oddly enough, and I find this very odd, folks, seems to have a possible membership with Solomon's Temple. 
and why that would never be disclosed to detectives and disclosed to actual police and they just you know chalk all this up to rumor mongering is beyond me I, I don't know I can't fathom exactly why nobody has looked into this the way it has to be looked into very carefully but here's one of the reasons why we are going to look at this very very carefully one of these cars it's a sedan and so on and there's a number of them by the way has a biohazard sign on it and it's constantly seen this is back remember mind you in 2012 and sometimes also in 2013 it's constantly seen coming in and around that's correct Solomon's Temple so Solomon's Temple which is right over here is again more than two miles away from Summer Wells house and I'm gonna tell you right now based upon some of the things I've looked into this is a major place of interest that people just entirely glossed over for some reason. And I, I don't, I just trust my intuition on this. I do not believe Don Wells' story that he has not been involved in anything unsavory in Tennessee. This is basically a church building. It's called the Solomon's Temple Missionary Baptist Church of Kingsport, Tennessee. Not Rogersville, Kingsport, Tennessee. So we need to make note of that. This is back in 2012, so this is way before her disappearance. But we already see, um, I see some signs there that are kind of sometimes called meter signs. used, you know, just uh, marking territory for land, whether it be marking territory for land or marking territory for rituals. That's what they're used for. And so we see this. This is called the Solomon's Temple Missionary Church. And you can't make that up. It looks identical to Solomon's Temple from some of those same strange, uh, just every strange uh, ritualistic event you can think of it. Even... Some of them were associated with the Blair Witch Project. So it astounds me that investigators have never gone out and even hardly stepped foot in Kingsport, Tennessee. But there you have it. You know, Solomon's Temple. We're going to be looking very carefully at this. This will be just part one there's more to come thank you this is very disturbing for a myriad of reasons okay but not least of which is the fact that um, there's just some absolutely disturbing imagery at uh, Solomon's temple and there's at least one or two media outlets who discussed the Solomon's Temple issue for a few minutes and they mentioned that Candace Wells especially had done many, many uh, talks there or something and they deleted everything mentioning anything about ever having visited Kingsport, Tennessee. So this isn't even on social media. Nobody's talking about the fact that the people there, specifically Candace Wells and even Don Wells at certain times, were going to ceremony, you know, going to church, essentially, at Solomon's Temple, more than two miles away from the Wells' home. And folks, I don't know where a lot of people are living at, but this, this is very disturbing for a myriad of reasons. In, you know, um, uh, the least of which is the fact that uh, uh, Summer Wells is their daughter. And like I was saying before, I don't see any reason why anyone who has children of any type 
would desire to be visiting the uh, area over here, let alone students, directly next to a very strange place known as the Solomon's Temple and the rituals, okay, that took place here. The Candace Wells most certainly was involved with in the past because they tried to delete her membership at the Solomon's Temple. Okay. And you just can't make any of this stuff up. This is a horrific thing to find out that there's two or three cars that are running around. Nobody's talking about this. Two or three cars running around with biohazard signs on them. The fact that Solomon's Temple, Candace Wells, has a lot of affiliations with that and has gone there before. So hold on. They all say, you know, we're going to go out and we're going to put the cadaver dogs there. They're going and searching areas that have nothing to do with the likely disappearance of these children. And look at that. There's a Toyota Tacoma type of truck on the front of this website. You couldn't make this stuff up. Okay? This is Solomon's words for the wise. No joke. Some of the actual friends, uh, the associates and whatnot, are hanging out, not in Rogersville, uh, Tennessee by any means where they normally go to church they're hanging out more than two miles away in a very very strange looking church known as Solomon's Temple in Kingsport Tennessee with people like Suzanne Henderson I mean you couldn't make this up in your wildest dreams so there is an actual cult it appears and you know what happens on full moons, right? Yeah. Late at night and even during the day. In this area and specifically in Kingsport, Tennessee. Not anything to do with any of that area where they were searching in the woods in Rogersville. But Kingsport, Tennessee. Um, on certain sunny, you know, when the full sun is out or the full moon is out. Literally. They will do sacrifices of children. On the property. Probably nearby Solomon's Temple. I, the, the circumstances are extremely suspicious. I'm not going to say that it's a suspect. I'm going to say that the Solomon's Temple group is an extreme person of interest right now. For a fact. And this is very strange because you look up what they talked about in the past. Friends of Candace Wells and the group here at Solomon's Temple, and it's extremely bizarre. Thank you. All right here again is Kingsport, Tennessee, sunrise and sunset times. Look at that, 5.30 or 7.26 is the official sunrise time. You can't make that up. For Solomon's Temple Church, for the grounds, there's a number of burial grounds and strange uh, ceremonies, you know, folks, because we're talking about Solomon's Temple of Kingsport, Tennessee, of all places. And this is disturbing. It's not listed anywhere on the map of official churches in Kingsport, Tennessee. So the only way I was able to find it is literally by traveling all the way around Tennessee. Okay? Going through the school district and going more than two and a half miles away from that area uh, that's over on Beach Tree Road. Not that that's not an important area, but I'm just saying, folks, it's not the area to look at. Solomon's Temple is an extreme place of interest. There has been ceremonies that have been reported here, okay, just for years, and it's unbelievable. 
almost unfathomable in certain respects that um, it didn't receive a huge amount of at least attention on alternative sites, alternative news, period. This is disturbing, to say the least. It's church type of uh, ceremony ground. It looks identical like Solomon's Temple. And folks, what happened at Solomon's Temple? Ritual sacrifice all the time of very young boys and girls. That's correct. Thank you. Twelve key facts about King Solomon's Temple. And some of the trucks like that Toyota Tacoma truck that we will find for sure. It was commissioned by King Solomon in the first temple to be known as God's royal palace of blessing. To this day, even though its exact location is unknown, it still holds significance in modern day culture. Well, folks, it's not unknown. The original King Solomon's temple was christened in like the year 1825. I looked it up. In Tennessee, of all places, there was an actual temple built there back then. Now they have an actual official church. Can't even make this up in your wildest dreams. An official church modeled directly after the appearance of King Solomon's temple. King Solomon House of the Ark. After the completion of the temple, it said King Solomon brought the Ark of the Lord to the covenant in the ritual. King Solomon said a prayer of dedication to God. How did King Solomon's temple look like? The Bible isn't the only religious book that sheds light on King Solomon's official temple. It's also where the Masonic order does many sacrifices. Hiram Abif built King Solomon's temple. It was the king's palace. It has a movable bronze basin, ten lampstands, a table for the bread of the presence. And of course, on top of all this, it has ritual sacrifices of children as young as the age of eight years old, sometimes younger, or the boy or girl. You cannot make this stuff up. Nobody, not even Fox News or anyone, has discussed the fact Candace Wells was going to a King Solomon's Temple Church. Thank you again very much. More to come. So, folks, the Summer Wells case has admitted they've been a very, very torrid affair and just a lot of disturbing elements to it all the way along. And they want it to be uh, positive before looking at certain things. And it just, it, you can't make this, this up anymore. There is something going on with the Solomon's building, Solomon's Temple is what I'm going to say right now, all the way out over there in Kingsport, Tennessee, not Rogersville, Kingsport, Tennessee, that's right. And there's something going on out there for sure with this Jean, Janine or something person. And it is disturbing. But like I said, we're hot on the Summer Wells case now. And there's going to be answers that are going to come out. We're going to find that Toyota truck. Guaranteed. I'm hot on the trail. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Summer and winter.